Hey, what up ladies and gents? Today I stayed inside and played video games, and one of the video games was Dauntless. Now, I've slightly changed my setup here. Why? Because I want to diss the number one build thief, as well as information thief. He knows who he is, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, a lot of you guys have been asking about axe builds. The thing is, right, the axe build from way back when, which is 1.80, is still the best of the best. That video has 50k views on my main channel. I'm gonna bring it to you right here again. You know why? Because it's been a year. Let, let's update it. Let's let's do this as if it's a fresh build video, and let's see how it performs for real, okay? <clears throat> now, I haven't leveled Axe a lot, so it's kind of stuck at level 17, but even then, I think you can see the results for yourself. We'll go into the hunting grounds. So you're not going to see those fantastic 20, 30k numbers, which you only see in Escalation, because of the escalation bonuses and if you ever need that information i can do a separate video explaining escalation bonuses and things like that but what i'm going to show you is how to construct the top axe build okay malignant scourge is what you want as your legendary weapon tenacious cell tenacious cell up in here all right this is going to synergize with tough later on why because the axe doesn't have a lot of sources of straight up continuous damage all right by using Tenacious, you utilize the fact that, assuming you don't really take hits, whenever you throw your axe, Predator combined with Tenacious is going to give you, with this build, an, a total baseline of 67% damage. All right, whenever, and that is for a baseline throw. Add it to the fact that you're going to use Koshai as your bond, plus 50%, your basic throw is going to deal 117% bonus damage. Okay, that effectively doubles the damage of any throw that you do. Now, later on, once you fill up the bar as well, that's 2.5 times damage. Then you get a crit guaranteed with pulse. Are you starting to see how all this works? Basically, this entire build is centered around your axe throw, which is why we're gonna have Grim Onslaught as your special. And the mod is going to be the overcharged cylinder, so you can get four stacks of determination, giving you even more bonuses. It gets wild. Discipline will be your omni cell of choice for an extra 8% damage on your crits. All right, the extra critical chance is useful too. Koshai's Bloom and a reused cell will be your lantern. Now, the original version used Etheric Attunement, so you could Koshai a little extra, but realistically speaking, reuse is a better choice now because it exists. Sight of Stone with a Toughness Cell. All right, this is your survival. Strax of Shadow with a Cunning Cell here. You've got Malkyrion's Grass with a Predator Cell. You're gonna need a lot of Legendaries for this one. All right, but it is how you build the best. Chrono Treads with Pulse, all right? Now, Cunning and Pulse combined together makes your crits do 1.95 times damage, all right? 30% from Cunning plus 15% from Pulse. The base multiplier of a crit is 1.5 times in case you didn't know so add another 45 percent damage to that that means 1.95 at the eight percent from discipline you get 2.03 so effectively just think it like simple terms your crits are going to double your damage all right this is very important because remember already i said the base damage is doubled take double of the base damage all right double that again with a crit that's how the numbers get really crazy okay Okay, so, now, let's actually see this. Now, Sharpened comes from the Koshai, but just remember that Sharpened does not actually help you kill the Behemoth faster. Sh all that Sharpened does is it helps you break parts faster. Now, as always, we demonstrate these builds in the Hunting Grounds. Why? Because the Hunting Grounds don't have bonuses. So you get to see the build in its raw glory. But unfortunately, because um, I no longer actively stream or play Dauntless, I haven't really uh leveled up anything or done anything else right look at this person coming up coming up to where i am how dare they how dare they exist with me let's put down a banner too yeah all right but anyway um since i no longer actively play dauntless um i have not really leveled stuff so normally i would you know go the distance on a stream i would take the axe to level 20 level it back down and show then show you guys a, a more medium situation but I think you guys can trust my content enough after the years that I've been doing it that you guys get uh, this. This is this is you know pre pretty pretty much straightforward and trustworthy. So I'm just gonna show you how this functions. 
All right, um, now this Thunder Deep Drask is only one level above us, but fuck it, let's go see how it is. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do the Rift Stalker. It's, it's a tougher opponent with the axe, right? Okay. And plus, our determination isn't stacked up. You know, showing the raw, basic version of this axe is probably the best way to show you how this build works. Now, what I do with this one, very simple. Every time I open up, all right, I throw. Because you want to get to max determination as soon as possible. Discipline gives you a very easy way of interrupting. All right? So abuse that. Don't be a fool. And as soon as you break apart, which you will be able to fairly easily. Now, get your pulse stacked up. Once your pulse is stacked up, wait for wait for four seconds so you get your Koshai's blessing as well. And then you'll start dishing out massive damage on your throws. Alright, this is very important. Because that 13% damage affects everything. Alright, now keep interrupting, keep interrupting. As you'll see, what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for Pulse to stack up. Now, if I lose Predator, that's okay. Alright? It does happen. But what I will do is I'll still wait. I'll be patient, right? Then I'll use my Koshai's to activate the Life Steal. And then bada bing bada boom. I've dealt more damage and completely healed up. Alright? And, and that's how you just build up the axe. It's so easy to do. And you just keep interrupting whatever comes out. Comes your way, you know? Keep building up. Keep building up. Like I said, and in case of emergencies, guess what? You've got your Agoras. All right, you've got your Agoras. So don't feel ever like you, like you 100%, you know, have to stay safe or, or play completely safe. Now, that was three levels above us. Okay, what happens if you fight the Thunderdeep Drask? Let's, let's go, let's go just grab this. Now, I apologize that I wasn't able to do the kind of demonstration where the creature is five, you know, six levels above us normally i would do that but i, I like i said I, I don't really actively play this game anymore so i don't have the same um time to do everything because i'm really busy shooting videos for other stuff as well you know so i hope you guys understand you know what i'm doing and all that and usually before the life steal is over i'll try and try and get a couple of good hit swings in Alright, but it's so easy to stagger even without escalation bonuses on this, right? Okay, now, we stack up pulse, I move away. You know, you just have to wait patiently a little bit, then throw, and boom, you can hit massive numbers. Now, you're not going to get the 20 and 30Ks until you start doing escalations, alright? But, but you will, you will still see fairly large numbers in the hunting ground. So, don't underestimate that, okay? And your Koshai's Bloom is also great for evasion. Don't forget that it counts as a dodge, right? So use that freely and before you throw, make sure you stack up the whole- Oh, it's dead. Okay, well make, make sure you stack up the whole bar first because if you do, right? So if you get it in this, this particular manner, you can even open up the next fight with a throw, okay? Um, although the Shroud is only one level above us, let's go, let's go merc it really quickly. Okay, just to show you again. Now, I'm going to take a bit more time to show you the prowess of this because it's just so good when you know how to play this particular build. All right? And if you're liking this stuff, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe at this point, okay? Because this channel is not monetized. You want to support me on this uh, channel, make sure you donate by the tip link, okay? Now, let me open up with a throw, literally. Insta stun and insta park break as well. Okay, now normally I wouldn't use my Koshai's Lantern there, but I just wanted to dish out some extra damage. Alright. This thing can do what it likes. Okay, no problem. Now I don't like to take hits, but sometimes you do, right? So it doesn't matter. 
Now, even though I'm not prepared for this axe throw, I'm just using it to fully heal again. Because in the time that I'm going to prep for my next axe throw, I want to save up all my... All my pulse, right? Okay, now we wait, save up patiently. And then once once the four, you get your four seconds on it, boom! You're hitting massive damage with your throws. Go see this in Escalation and watch yourself hit 30, 40k in the Escalations. It's, it's insane compared to hunting grounds where you don't have the bonuses, all right? It's so easy to win with this axe build. And, that, and that's it. That is literally it. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the best and only Dauntless channel you can trust, all right? Well, you can trust other people if you like. Mostly build thieves, but hey, I'll leave that up to you. You want to support this channel? Drop a tip via link in the description of the video. Otherwise, just like, share, and subscribe. Help me get this channel partnered. That's all, man. Enjoy the axe build. Still the best since 180. Oh, yeah. Have fun, ladies and gents. Have fun.